Subscribe to our channel Petmu for more information on pets. Maltese Shih Tzu Mix, a complete dog breed guide. Maltese Shih Tzu Mix is the perfect companion for the more relaxed family atmosphere and one of the few designer breeds that have no poodle dog in their bloodline. The Maltese Shih Tzu Hybrid is a dog of many names, you may hear them referred to as Malshi, Maltesu, Shitties, Maltesus, or even Shimas. They will definitely be a compliant little dog that suits almost anyone and any type of household. This designer dog breed is bred by crossing the gorgeous, curious, quick-moving hobgoblin, and hypoallergenic, Maltese with the clever, spunky, and so fluffy Shih Tzu. This small toy dog with hair all over their face and body of even length and sometimes the facial hair is too long for its face, obscuring its view, while she is playful and puckish. She is also just as happy to be a lap dog. She is also hypoallergenic, so she is a great companion for allergy sufferers. Maltese Shih Tzu History The Maltese Shih Tzu mix was developed for the first time in the 1990s when breeders wanted to create a small, and less shedding dog, much like a Shorky and Maltipu. She proved to be one of the most popular crossbreeds in Australia and also become quite popular in North America. Yet, there has been little interest in developing the Malshi as an independent breed because most of these dogs till date are crosses from the two purebred parents, rather than being developed from other Malshi parents. This petite doggo has gained much fame and recognition from quite a few dog registries except the AKC. Is Maltese Shih Tzu the right dog for you? If you want a dog who is one of the smaller breeds. Is polite with people and peaceful with other pets. Sheds minimally and hypoallergenic. Doesn't need much outdoor exercise. Then a Malshi may be right for you. If you don't want to deal with the tenderness of toy breeds. A slightly stubborn attitude. Separation anxiety, when left alone for long periods. Housebreaking difficulties and difficulties in training. Frequent grooming or regularly shearing the coat short. Then a Malshi may not be right for you. Maltese Shih Tzu Facts The height of a male Maltese Shih Tzu dog is ranging between 8 to 14 inches, and the female dog is around 7 to 13 inches. The weight of a Maltese Shih Tzu dog is ranging between 6 to 15 pounds. A healthy Malshi should expect to enjoy a life expectancy of between 12 to 14 years, when properly cared for and fed a good quality diet to suit their ages. Maltese Shih Tzu Appearance Maltese Shih Tzu comes in various coat colors like white, brown, black, gray or solid, and multicolored. As with any hybrid dog, the Malshi appearance can vary quite a bit due to the different sizes and varieties of Maltese and Shih Tzu. The Malshi doesn't usually have the bulging eye and short nose of Shih Tzu but inherits the luxurious locks of her parent breeds. Since the Malshis come from a small-sized parentage, it stands to reason that they themselves aren't very big. Facial region, rounded, broad heads without being domed and they boast a well-defined stop with a square, short and wide muzzle and a striking black nose. Oval-shaped eyes which may be hazel or amber in color, and black rims with dogs boasting a warm look. Long, feathered ears that these dogs carry drooping down, and the hair on them blend in with the dog's coat at the shoulder. They have strong jaws and their mouth is slightly undershot although it can be level too. Body, nicely proportioned necks which dogs carry well arched adding to their proud and pompous look. Their well sloped shoulders with short front legs and well muscled showing lots of bone. Broad, deep chest and well sprung rib cages. Muscular hindquarters with short, well-angulated back legs and well-muscled with well-rounded as well as powerful thighs. The extremely plumed tails are set high and these dogs arched over their backs daily. Maltese Shih Tzu Grooming and Shedding Designer dogs vary much more than their purebred parents in many different characteristics such as size, temperament, and coat. Even puppies from the same litter cannot be assured to look or act the same. Check with your breeder about the differences between each Malshi generation, as the proportion of each parent breed modifies per generation. F1, Malshis are the result of crossing a purebred Maltese with purebred Shih Tzu. 
F1B, when a breeder takes one F1 Malshi and crosses them back with either purebred Maltese or a purebred Shih Tzu and doing so usually makes the F1B puppies in the resultant litter even smaller F2, offspring of two F1 Malshis bred together. Since most buyers want the small size of the Maltese and the colorings of the Shih Tzu, there is little breeding beyond the first generation. Malshis you'll find available will be 50% each of the two purebred parents. Their coats are normally long to very long and from straight to wavy, but either way, it's a thick silky, fluffy, never curly, and rather soft coat. Distinctively, Malshis often don't have an undercoat. This dog was bred purposely to eliminate shedding although minimal shedding still does occur. These dogs are branded to be hypoallergenic so whoever is on vacuum duties will thank you later. Their coat can come in a variety of colors and may range anywhere from white, black, gray, brown, or multicolored. For instance, white and brown, white and black, brown and black. The markings on these diminutive dogs vary a lot and consequently make it a little easier to differentiate your little Maltese Shih Tzu from others. These tend to shed less overall but they still shed some of their furs in the winter months to cool down for the summer month. Regular brushing will not only keep their coats and skin in good condition, but it will help keep any shed hair under control. They can also be professionally trimmed or clipped a few times a year to be even and uniform as it makes your job simple for keeping their coats looking good in between visits to a grooming parlor. Maltese Shih Tzu Temperament This live wire is gregarious and gutsy, and she loves people of any age group. The Maltese may be snappy and high-strung, but when crossed with the standoffish Shih Tzu, you will get a pleasant and friendly dog that's good with all people. Like any dog, this designer dog needs to be socialized in its puppyhood. Loyal to its family, Malshis can be slightly difficult to house train, but not impossible. This little dog needs a trainer or parent who understands how to be her pack leader. Inappropriate training may result in bad behavior problems, destructive behavior around the house, or sheer disobedience paradoxically, many of the toy or small breeds are not the friendliest. Just because they're lovely, toy-sized, downy and fluffy, doesn't mean they love all people and other pets. But, the affability of a Maltese Shih Tzu is a breath of fresh air and this cute, little fluffer literally loves everyone. So, don't choose this crossbreed if you're looking only for a guard dog. There's nothing worse than a Yorkshire Terrier or Chihuahua yapping its head off at 3 a.m. on a workday. Appreciatively, you won't have to deal with that yapping from a Malshi as they're generally on the quieter side. Malshi's mind living at home with a crying infant. But, because of its small size, it's better to leave it around older children with more responsibility and knowledge of how a dog should be handled. Since the Maltese Shih Tzu mix forms strong bonds with their owners, they're often very cheerful, caring, congenial, and light-hearted. Malshi attitudes are more laid-back than typical Maltese, which makes them all the more adorable. Maltese Shih Tzu Training Malshis are light-hearted and exceptionally affectionate dogs which makes them easier to train than many other dog breeds. Their training isn't too hard, but don't get too complacent either. You still need to inculcate a strong training regimen from an early age to get the best out of them. Start socializing and training your dog from puppyhood. For a first-time dog owner, it is better to sign up for dog obedience classes. Malshis were bred to be lap dogs doesn't mean they don't need training and exercise. Daily walks are a must, but so are plenty of playtimes to vent off her energy because of the intelligence and inquisitiveness of this crossbreed. This dog loves to scamper and scuttle around anywhere it can. Outside, inside, on the carpet, on wood. Never mind, they jump, hop, skip, and leap. So, if you really want to make your puppy happy, give it a fenced backyard or garden, take advantage of any opportunity to be outdoors, in addition to the needed at least one long walk a day. It's better to bring up crate training earlier because the Malshi is so small that it can get into all types of holes and corners. Pick a spot away from high traffic areas, direct sunlight, from a radiator, or away from an in-floor heating or cooling vent. You can keep your Malshi's crate in your bedroom depending on your sleeping tendencies. 
this peppering has sometimes a bit of a sassy attitude but it's not an act of hostility. Instead, your pooch might be trying to tell you something important. Growling or nipping may signify that your dog may have a health issue and feels uncomfortable or vulnerable. Otherwise, it could be an act of dominance. You'll have to show the Malshi who's boss or pack leader in the house. The best way to implement your supremacy is with food. Make your dog lay down or sit before every meal. Instinctively, they are not aggressive. Start the obedience training right from puppyhood to ward off the possibilities of your pooch showing sporadic aggression in the future. Maltese Shih Tzu Food Being on the small end of the scale, the Maltese Shih Tzu requires an average of 40 calories per pound, while large dogs only require an average of 20 calories per pound. It may also seem weird that a puppy will require more calories per day than your adult Malshi, this is not unusual. Your puppy needs more calories as it is growing and they burn through calories very quickly, therefore it needs more energy to support this process. Though quantity depends on the brand, an adult Maltese Shih Tzu requires half a cup of good quality dry dog food that is actually enriched with all the nutrients. You should divide this feeding into two equal servings which will ensure your dog remains satisfied all day and night. A good option is to feed Maltese Shih Tzu the kibble specialized for small, toy, and teacup dog breeds. The best foods should have high calorific value, meat protein, complex carbs, B vitamins, and good digestibility with small kibble size. Rough feeding guide for Malshi. Remember, the daily feedings should be determined by the puppy's build. Once a puppy hits her first birthday they can be fed adult dog food depending on their energy level, training, and eating preferences. Protein content should be between 14-21%. Carb content should be 30-70%. Fiber content should be less than 4%. Fat content should be less than 10%. Calcium content should be 0.5 to 0.8%. Phosphorus content should be 0.4 to 0.7%. Sodium content should be 0.2 to 0.4%. Do's and don'ts when looking for Malshi foods. Check out for foods that feature chicken, beef, lamb, or salmon with protein as the first listed item. Avoid foods missing a whole protein at the start of the ingredient list. Avoid foods that contain artificial additives such as artificial colors, artificial flavors, or artificial preservatives. Purchase only foods that contain explicitly identified meat meals and byproducts. Shun foods with poorly identified or unidentified meat meals. That is to say, the beef meal is okay, meat meal is not. Chicken byproducts are acceptable, poultry byproducts are not. Foods that are equipped with probiotics often help reduce digestive problems in Malshis. Dry kibble will keep your pup's teeth good than wet foods, so it is usually preferable to pass up wet foods. Some premium kibbles comprise of special teeth cleaning characteristics. Maltese Shih Tzu Health Problems Some major health issues that affect Malshi dogs is intervertebral disc disease, progressive retinal atrophy, and patellar luxation. Some minor health issues that affect Malshi dogs is brachycephalic respiratory syndrome, white shaker syndrome, and portu systemic shunt of the liver. Maltese Shih Tzu Price The price of Malshi puppies will cost you anywhere from $500 to $700 from a reputable breeder.